Kelsey with the Fat Quarter Shop, and I'm here today with Debbie Taylor, and we're going to tell you a little bit about a new free pattern, the Fat Quarter Shop Heart Mug Rug, which will be available on our website. And also, I'm here to tell you about the notion of the month for February, which is the Ulfa Scalloped Blade, as well as all the blades for the rotary cutters. So if you're needing any new blades and you need to stock up, now's the time to do it. But I'd really love to show you how to use the scalloped edge rotary blade. Before we start, I'm going to actually show you how you change a rotary blade safely. And one item by one item, you'll just take it apart. And I lay everything out in the order in which I take it apart so I know exactly what order to put it back together. Then very carefully, you'll lift your blade off, open up your package with your new blade, pick this one up, and you've got one to throw away that's nice and safe. So now I'm going to go backwards, put it all back together. And we're all set. So a mug rug, what do you use these for? This is for your mug of coffee in the morning, your tea, your hot chocolate, and of course it's big enough for a cookie. To do the mug rug, what you will need is just some scraps of fabric. So the first thing you're going to cut is your backing fabric, and you need a square that's nine and a half by nine and a half. Then you'll cut a piece of batting, any kind of batting, and you're going to cut that square nine by nine. Your background fabric will be cut eight and a half by eight and a half. And then you'll just need scraps for the hearts and the cherries. The heart, you will need a piece that measures um, seven and a half by seven and a half. For the little tiny mini heart, you'll just need a two by two. And for the two cherries, you'll need a piece of scrap fabric that measures two by four. After you have all your fabrics picked out, you're going to use our pattern and trace the image of the large heart, the small heart, and the two cherries onto fusible web. I like the heat and bond light um, fusible web. I use it all the time. You'll take your scissors and cut exactly on the pencil line that you drew. So the cherries and the little heart will be cut with a pair of scissors. So you'll take our pattern and just trace the heart and then cut out the heart about a quarter of an inch all the way around. The pencil line will be your cutting line. You'll do the same for the little tiny heart and the cherries. Put your fusible on the back. You'll use regular scissors to cut this out. And this is the one we're going to use the rotary cutter on. You'll iron it on following the manufacturer's directions on the uh, fusible web. It only takes a few seconds to adhere it to the back. You also want to be sure that you're going to iron that to the wrong side of your fabric so that the glue is adhered to the back side. So now we'll show you how to use the scalloped rotary cutter. You've got your scalloped edge in place. You're going to expose the blade. You've got your pencil line that you're going to follow. So I start on a straight edge. And it doesn't even have to be perfect. Just follow the line that you drew. You can even stop and turn it because you can put your rotary right back exactly in the same place where you cut before. Just take your time. When you get to the center of the heart, just lift that piece away. And you're done. Okay, the next thing is to take the paper off the back. So you just kind of give it a little twist so that the paper is easy to peel away from the back of the fabric. And just peel the paper away. And it leaves the very shiny glue on the back of the pattern. Now the same with the little heart and the cherries. 
then you're going to be layering it onto your background piece. So following the directions on the pattern, you can kind of replacement, find a good place for your heart. So just kind of center it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Take your little heart, find a good spot for it, and your cherries. And then go to your ironing board and just iron back and forth over this and that will melt the glue into the fabric and it will absolutely hold in place. Okay, so now you're ready to do the quilting. You've got your little mug rug um, layered together. Everything is ironed in place. So the next step is to get a matching thread. I like to put my um, stitch length at 1.5 and make little tiny stitches. By using tinier stitches, it's easier to go around corners. I also put my needle in the down position so that when I stop and turn, I don't lose my, my spot. So then you're going to do your quilting. You're going to stitch real close to the scalloped edge all the way around, also around the heart and the cherries. Then you'll do your zigzag stitch for your stems and then once around the heart three complete times. Then you're ready for your binding. You'll flip it over, cut your binding two and a quarter inches, measure around your mat and add 10 inches to that measurement. Sew it on to the back, flipped it over, fixed the corners, and I actually sewed with my machine around the outer edge so I didn't have any hand sewing. You can find this pattern on our website, www.fatquartershop.com, under free patterns. I hope you enjoyed our little tutorial today. Thanks. Thank you.